with this guy around the back is anything interesting worth stealing and then crack on Anyone been playing Shadow of the Colossus? Seen a few people streaming that today. Right, let's go to the shithole motel. Go to the shithole motel, grab a stanky mattress. Need a roof over your head? Only place in town. Deal. Stockton snores. You've been warned. You enjoying it? Chronodiums playing Shadow of the Colossus. You enjoying it? Looks, it looks fun. Big Lou playing it. Look like they're enjoying it. I would. Yeah, I mean, I only got the first Colossus so far. I should really watch some more reviews of it. And that suit should tip the balance of things in our favor. Try and get a better handle on uh, on what it's about. Actually, I actually quite, I was quite disappointed that they've delayed the Anthem release. Um, but then again, I'll be brutally honest, I actually think Anthem is going to be terrible. Um, and that they probably only delayed it because it was going to be a complete cunt farm of microtransactions like Star Wars Battlefront 2. And now they're shitting their pants and trying to uh, backtrack. Um, it's a game you probably shouldn't do that for. Oh, what, uh, that watching reviews will spoil it. Shadow of the Colossus, that is. Oh God, don't say that. What about Anthem? I really want Anthem to be brilliant. I really want it to be brilliant. I just fear that I fear that the entire game was built built on the built on the Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, model and that they have delayed it because they're stripping out that mic level of microtransaction and the problem is if it's like if it's if the game is built from the ground up with a progress system based around loot crates and extracting people's money there's no quick fix there. You know, I mean, they, if they'd been a quick fix, they would have done it to um, they would have done it to Star Wars Battlefront 2, and they couldn't because you need to restructure the whole the game's whole bloody progress system. Why don't I hear weird lapping? But yeah, I'll be honest. The tip off for me with Anthem was when I looked at it. As soon as I saw that power armor. I just thought microtransactions. You know, they obviously realised that the entire game, the entire game lends itself to microtransaction because, you know, it's like, hey, look, this game is all about your suit of armour and making it look pretty, 
and you're going to be staring at the back of this thing for hours and hours on end every day and I bet you the you know the old tricks will come out the standard ones will be shitty the premium ones you pay money for will look beautiful you know the whole thing looked like a microtransaction delivery system to me and when they suddenly delayed it over the Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, controversy I thought yep yeah, that's what they've done they've realized they've realized that they're getting into trouble for this so they've backtracked they're trying to backtrack uh, quite a DM same I hope EA will learn I mean I'll die on the hill that EA is a better company than Activision yeah I mean EA and Activision both of say been famous for various controversies over the years time will tell time will tell looks beautiful I've got to admit it looks beautiful it looks like the the trailer made it look like uh, a cross between the division fallout 4 I don't know if any of you have played Rage, which I've always thought. I've always thought that Rage, um, I always thought that Rage was deliberately was a beta test for Fallout 4 combat system. I actually think Rage was then basically going right. Let's 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 release a game that's a a sort of a, a test of concept for the new Fallout 4 combat system. EA yeah, don't sell you content cut from the game beta. Card from D1. When the new yeah. guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred... I've said it before, and I'll, so I'll say it again. True? It's, it's always... It's always worth remembering that EA and DICE made Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and EA and DICE made Battlefield 1. It's amazing that the same combination of publisher and developer can produce such vastly different games. You know, for me personally, for 2017, they're kind of the best, the, sorry, the, the worst and maybe the best new game I've played. Mr. Mikey's, hello, I just watched your latest video. Great as always, man. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. <sighs> Secrecy keeps us alive. I'm glad you liked Code it. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Uh, what's my nickname? Fixer. Call me Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver. Yeah, I got a bit. I won't lie. Prototype. And see if he can use an. When I, 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 but first, it's time to meet the rest of the. I confess, I was part of a discussion where a group of us did analyze Welcome to the, the big Alejandro. Like looked at the serial code on it. You know, we we're just thinking, is there some hidden meaning here? And we couldn't find the damn thing. And then while I was making that video, I just quickly decided to, to put the name into an anagram generator. And when it when it came back with Hitler bondage yar, I'm like, you fucking shitting me! You couldn't, you couldn't fucking make this shit up. It was just like a gift from the gods. It was just like, thank you, I'll take that. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Right, Deacon. You know what? I'm going to keep Deacon because he gives me a nice perk. So I'm going to send Ada to Sanctuary for now. Yeah, seriously, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to find it hard to resist. But I'm actually playing the division, playing with my, uh, with my Spando. I'm actually going to find it hard to resist shouting Hitler bondage art in a terrible German accent. I do really like the Deacon character, even though he's obviously profoundly flawed and a complete bullshitter, and. Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers, but you know you're going to take everything he says with a pinch of salt. 
but he's still kind of he's I think he's a very well written character. In fact, I mean some of the some of the companion characters are, are you know there's this is it. It may lack the amenities. Some of them are a bit cliched, some of them are a bit shit. A lot of them I think were written well, some of them were brilliant, just brilliant. Like Nick Valentine is just a fucking wonderful character. I don't know if even a scaver would take that. Patrick says the human dustbin. Patrick Patrick is jokingly describes himself as a human dustbin. Because I always give him my give him my stuff when we do runs. He's a full agent. I went through a sensor suite. Oh Every god, I've got to do a bloody run. quest for these guys, haven't I? Skin, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the institute isn't watching you or us. But the test lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, oh, oh I knew it. The institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's a rubber. Ugh. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. If, if you had it. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me. There's a battery acid. You can't nuke an omelet. Uh, I think there's I'm no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Fine. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I dose. I'll read you, man. Smart. Hey. I'd appreciate the help. You and me, we will team up and kick those son of a bitches out of here. Now, I got all the Sure. Just realized I gotta do another fucking quest, haven't I? Ah, it's our newest agent. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, it would have been nice. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists uh, that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like any uh -huh. it is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed. The dead drop is a mailbox with a ring. Mm -hmm. It's a common means of communication. Uh -huh. When you make contact with Stockton, he will right. the current sign is You can trust me with it. You sound rather convincing. Stock you Look, I don't know if any of you vape, but I've just tried this Jensen's classic tobacco vape, and it literally tastes like simulated underpants. I, I, I really can't figure out how they've managed to make vape juice taste so Glad much like on. how I imagine pants Designing taste. To take the occasional night off. <laughs> I can only say imagine <laughs> because I've never actually time. eaten my own pants. All processes are busy. Oh, hey, fucking... Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops. Grab incoming... Uh -huh. I don't suppose... That can be... Job. Yeah, right. I could be. We'll be seeing each other. Right, just. Oh. Hi. Deacon's record is the best. You can learn a lot Pam. from him. Processing. Agent. Fixer. Oh, that's a strange way to say. Give hello. me a mission so I can get my bloody ballistic weave. Verbal input. Uh -huh. Preliminary adjustments. I want. Right. Well, nice to meet you. Introductory token. Soul recognized. Reaper. Hello, mate. Nice to meet you too. Unknown entity, I provide first order. What? That's amazing. Yeah, Gosh. good, thank you, Soul Reaper. What? I'm just, uh, I'm on a mission to uh, rack up Twitch Revive hours and get ballistic weave for my, for my unwise. prostitutes. Operation query. I'm from Accent. Conversation. And I got really excited because I thought, oh, I just finished tradecraft. Come down here and cash it in. And now I just suddenly remembered, fuck, I think I have to do another quest first. Or another two I quests first. Here for my med right. Patrick says, 
they get a group of fat cunts with six month old pants worn day in day out and strain them into a container I may not actually be able to smoke any more of this of this uh, vape juice now you said that in fact I'm going to quickly swap over to a different supply it really it actually just really genuinely tastes horrible it's I have actually started to slightly tinker with the vape juice that uh, that I'm using. So I like I now add a little bit of different stuff and it's like one drop of vanilla and just make it to my make it to my uh, preferences. But that Jensen's vape juice, I mean, fucking hell! Whatever you do to that, it's going to taste like diluted pants. It's just a case of how much it's going to taste like fucking underpants. So Reaper says, so I didn't get to finish the news dump. Watch first half. Well, you have some entertainment for later. Some family entertainment to sit down with the family to watch. Oh, I hope you're enjoying it, dude. Ah, oh, thank you, mate. Really I can't eat to say. By yourself. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Right. Let's. Ooh. I love old world widgets. See, that's another one. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't. We're all the sense got. Would it kill them? You can put ballistic weave on lab coats, but not on vault tech lab coats. Patrick says it's good shit, I'm on the video clip, so it must be good. I'm in the video clip, so it must be good. I've forgotten. Yeah, I haven't got. I've forgotten actually how good those runs were, because we do you remember that day it was just we were we were just running with random groups. I mean those were little those were those were video grabs from a very long sequence of runs we did. But they we were just like going over and over again and just most people were like staying for four or five and you know, one person would swap out after a while and it was just like a very good long string of good fucking runs with complete strangers. Right then. Now avoiding this, we've got to go and retrieve the dead drop, and then we're going to get sent on a different mission, aren't we? We're going to do this mission, and then the lucky robot's going to send us off. Uh, is going to send us off to go and do another mission where we. Go and retrieve something from a place. One of the cash retrieval quests. Sorry, I can't fucking remember what the fuck it's called. But, let's go. Reaper, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the gameplay, but the commentary is top notch. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I'm a, yeah, I'm kind of average player, so I, I don't really obsess about the, uh, I don't really obsess about the quality of the gameplay. I know some, some streamers and content creators very, really kind of take it really seriously that and try and like uh do the absolute best footage they've got and make themselves look really really good and you know if they fuck anything up they edit it out um oh shit where am i going 
but very early on I just thought fuck it do you know what I mean it's like I'm not, I'm not a pro gamer I'm just an you know I'm just a, an average gamer why put that pressure on yourself to pretend you're the best of the best you know it's, it's funny how you hear you hear about so many uh, streamers and content producers uh, who end up getting busted for cheating because they get put so much pressure on themselves to try and prove that they're some kind of esports god when they're not that they end up fucking using hacks and uh, shit like that <laughs> you know like sportsmen taking steroids to win and it's just like Jesus do you know what I mean it's not an esports league you're a content creator you know just show the show the footage of you gaming and playing it's like Patrick says, yeah, Kilo's fucking rubbish. I'm always carrying him. Yeah, I just, I normally just like hide behind a bin and let Patrick kill everything. That works for me fine. But yeah, right right at the start, when I'm in one of my first videos, I had this footage and I thought, and I did something stupid. And I thought, I was just about to edit it out. And I just thought, you know what? If I edit this out, I'm, I'm, I'm heading on this slippery slope, you know, my ego's now involved, you know what I mean? It's like, once you start doing that shit and putting, you know, what's next? I'm only going to fucking show footage of me when I do them. Shit. I'm ready for them. Motherfucker. Um, you know, next thing you know, you're only putting in the absolute best gameplay footage. And, you know, the next thing you know, you're just a fucking fraud. Soul Reaper, if you ever decide to venture into the DZ, I would love to join you. Be an honour, dude. I don't, to be honest, I don't PvP much, but I am actually gonna try and fucking man up and get a decent DZ build. I really, I really, don't get me wrong, I actually really love uh, the LZ, but I tend to just kind of go in there with a not particularly professional build, just, you know go in there and have fun but I'm actually I do want to give it a bit more of a serious serious go in the DZ sometime so I might give you a shout mate right when did I last sleep Yeah, thus far my DZ experiences. I used to do the weekly quest. Um, but I and that used to I used to I used to enjoy doing the weekly, you know, the weekly mission. You know, the week where you just go off the weekly assignment where you go off and do all of that crap and do 10, 10 missions and do X, Y, and Z in the DZ. And I used to really enjoy it because it forced me to go into the DZ. I'm just here between jobs. Um you know, force me out of my comfort zone. I think I might still be welcome in that bed. I'm just going to try. Um, it's just the bloody cash was so demoralising at the end. It was just like, you know, I'd get fucking Cassidy's and fucking Pecans or the Hilda and Air, which I fucking hate. And uh, I stopped doing it, which is a real shame. I really wish the weekly, the weekly assignment had some quality rewards in it because it may, makes you go to the DZ and... Um, but I just used to sneak in solo, sneak in solo, you know, real proper DZ one and two stuff. Just sneak in and and uh, sneak in and try and cap whatever the fuck I had to cap that week and get out in one piece. You know, if I saw another player, I'd run for my fucking life. You know, but it's the thing is, it's like as much as the DZ is a shithole, it's so exciting because. And God help you, if you actually get a bit of decent loot, God help you, because you just know, you know, like, now it's like, oh, fuck, I've got to actually get this fucking thing out of here. You know, this, you get a rush in the DZ, even as someone who doesn't like it, you do get a great fucking rush from it. Patrick, to be honest, the video in the background is more of a filler... For the awesome commentary people come for. Oh, thank you, mate. That's how that is. I mean, I, I see. You know, I. 
I want the video to be about about that. It's like I'm not oh, shit. Why don't I get out of this? You know that's. You know the plan so is really to just to deliver my commentary and have that footage. Safer, I'm supposed to feel. You know, Welcome as visuals. Friend, Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Soul Reaper, see you later, mate. You take care. And thank you very much for the compliments, mate. Guys, oh, it's very kind of you to say, Soul Reaper. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the... Uh, feminine persuasion you're with our mutual friends yes that's right it's always nice to make new friends you've just joined haven't you all you need to know is this is the first stop for all our so maintaining proper no one likes delays yeah delays to say that sorry but says uh, of hey uber to me it's bad for business. how you doing mate my current package. I'm supposed to I take very good care of my girls, Timmy. I'm a good pimp. But raiders have come. I'm actually on a mission to get them better so better you... body armor right now, because they saved me. How you doing, Timmy? You're right, mate. So I just need to Got your t shirt, yeah? Done. <laughs> I like you all. Hope you don't mind me bringing that up on a video again. Time delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you. Right, so I've got to kill some time for this mission. But uh, it's very kind of what Soul Reaper said, and I hope, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people kind of kind of get it. It's like, you know, I'm not hating on this game. I, I love The Division, uh, but it has problems and there's shit that needs to be dealt with, and... You know, I see myself as just giving a voice to that. Um, you know, because sometimes I think they do too good a job of um, controlling the narrative and then people who are pissed off about stuff don't feel like they have a voice and I just want to give a voice and raise those issues that people have pissed off with. Um, but it's not me hating. Pardon. What, seriously? Patrick says, hey, Uber Timmy. Pa what? Pardon. What seriously about which? Right, where am I going? Where am I going? Back up there. Where's the fucking door? Where's the door? Busy here. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know if you've actually seen the, uh... Oh, pardon, Timmy's still not getting the swag he was promised. I'm not sure, Timmy, if you've actually seen the latest dump, but actually I did properly bring up the issue of your t-shirt. And, yeah, it's fucking eight months now, I think. That's fucked, to be honest. Bad PR. Yeah, I, I agree. And it's like... It's the, you know, it's just... I, I'm, a, I'm a bit flabbergasted because it's kind of like, you know... I don't, I don't take the piss out of the state of the game because I want to make them look stupid. I'm taking the piss out of the state of the game and hope that they'll sort of shit out. Do you know what I mean? It's like... You know, it's not it's not ritual humiliation. It's like, come on, guys, fucking get your shit together. I mean, it's like the fucking intro. You know, it's like, really? It, it was it fucking broke on the first week. You know, and it worked the second, then it broke on the third, and it's just like, you know, surely it can't come as a fucking surprise that State of the Game happens on a Thursday. You know that State of the Game's coming. You know, get it fixed in advance. Right, if I go very quiet. Who's there? Right, we have bad people who are going to try and shoot me in the vagina.
Well, I'm going to try and see if I can get in via an yeah. access route that doesn't give them absolutely fucking open field of fire on me. Great power armor, and I can't jump over a picket fence. Science at its finest. Dick shot. I don't think we're alone. Sorry, I uh, I wasn't intentionally shooting that man in the penis, but, really thorough. You know but it worked. Gotta to, got to wait here for a certain amount of time now. Um, it's my internet broken. You love the commentary on that intro. I'll be honest, it's like every, you know, it's like there's a cert there's certain parts of making the the dump that are the same every time. You know, there's certain one of them is like you know, sort of working out what the main theme's going to be. You know, what the intro's going to be. But with that one, it was just the more I just looked at that. You know, I was kind of deciding how to take the piss out of that, and I just thought, you know what, this is actually just funny in its own right. <laughs> Particularly with the whole pet is shocked fate. He always looks slightly shocked. But I would say, I, would, I, I feel compelled to say at this point that um, I actually think, I think Pet is actually pretty good at his job. I know, I, I, from reliable sources, he's a really hard working guy and he's a really nice guy. And, uh, I don't mean to, to sort of grief him because, you know, he's been pushed in front of the camera with very little to work with. Um, uh, you know, so he's he's a bit of a victim in this as well. He's like a junior PR guy who's, frankly, I, th I think they put him at the front of the state of the game to diffuse criticism because he's, you know, he's a likeable guy. Uh, who's a little bit out of his depth? I think they 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 put him there to try and get people to force people to be nice and pull punches. So um, yeah, I mean, I I think he, he he gets a lot of criticism because he often doesn't know what he's talking about. But that's that's not through lack of effort. He's a competent guy, works hard. It's just you know they don't give him much to work with. Pardon says it's technically breach of contract here in the UK. Not sure if it would help. Uh, if it would be elsewhere. Anyways, they said if Timmy did something, which he did, they would send him the merch, which they need to. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Under, I'm sure. Just in most countries, under verbal verbal contract law, potted meat. Fuck, I'm gonna eat it, even though it's probably people. That reminds me, I might try out cap a bit of cap cab uh, cannibalism in this playthrough. To look into that. I've not been a cannibal before. Find that perk. Oh, Dramelek, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I mean, I know there are some. Uh... Hey there. Everything looks clear. This is H2. There are some very real issues that are very H2. tough to deal with, you know, the tough to sort out. I mean, like everyone would like more inventory space, but there's there's, there's real technical Another reasons behind happy to meet certain aspects of the game. And just, you know, if they just gave it, doubled everybody's inventory size again, that, that, that wouldn't be without big costs and problems. But there's other things that are wrong with the game, and it's as simple as. And no one got around to doing it. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. And if they delivered Someone on everything that sure. they could deliver, then 
we're working on it would sound a little bit more believable. Do you know what I mean? When they can't even deliver a T-shirt, if they say they're working on it, then it's like, well, really, are you? Because you're working on delivering a T-shirt and you can't do that. <coughs> Uh, Aldramek destroyed after running around Aldramelek, sorry if I mispronounce your name mate destroyed after running around in the snow all day shit where are you dude easy there Don't that laser, hello Fix mate it. right, and my man Deacon Still I don't says inventory space would probably what? fuck up the it's servers even more months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, um, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. It's nice to meet you. Honors all my... Hey, you. A little rattled. Oh, uh, Devon. Yeah, you, it, it seems, it's always the a lot colder man, in the West Country than... I, I don't know if Devon's, Devon's the West Country. Told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and um, a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. But it's a remarkably me. colder than over here on, on the east side. It's it's just, I mean, it's kind of like mild. In London, it's kind of mild all year round these days. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. Yeah, what Pardone says is, is true. Are there are... Have actually... Uh, luckily someone did actually take the time to explain this to me, but there, there are all sorts of issues with that kind of... That kind of change, because there are real implications for, like, file size and server storage. Right, I'm going to shut up and kill... In the chops! Oh moving. fuck! My boss shouldn't shout too loud. Oh, Ragstag! I get far. I know. I get far too fucking excited about Ragstag meat, but I'm an obsessive looter, so what can I say? Ah, oh, there's definitely people in here. Hello. I should have a battle. Where's the fucking? Ah, oh, there it is. Good business model. Devon, fucking cold here today. Ultra Max says. You see where I'm going with this, right? Ooh, tibia. Where the fuck did that come from? I can't even see where that cunt's shooting me from. Pork and beans, bit of water, work a tree. Right in the undercut. Okay, I am loving, I'm officially loving this fucking legendary slow time effect because it means that even I can fucking hit the side of a barn from time to time who the fuck's that? oh yeah he's Where did the bits of the fucking turret go? So I can loot all it. Ah, oh, there you go. Loot, 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 loot. But yeah, as I said, I can't trust them to run a bath at the moment in time. Yeah, you... Yeah. What can I say? I... Fucking man. Um... 
Just one thing to be careful of with this, uh, with the deliverer, is that it has an incredibly low, incredibly low VATS, um, VATS cost. So it's really, sometimes it's really tempting to just go into VATS and, uh, there's a shop in here, by the way, if you, if, if I was on about my third playthrough before I found out that there's actually a fucking shop in there. Um, I think that's my guy, yeah. But it, uh, it's very easy to go into VATS and like click, 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 click and like get a ton of shots on target with uh, the deliverer. But it will destroy your destroy your fusion cores because obviously you you burn your fusion cores when you uh, take shots in VATS. Um, and because you can take so many quick hey, hi, quick shots with it... Here. All you could nice just suddenly you find yourself times. like going, well, actually, hmm. where the fuck have I got through so many fusion cores? And it's it's basically the deliverer draining them. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than glory. If you ever but later, up, Kilo, just the power watch now. your YouTube video the on the division. The Excellent. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad you enjoyed and it. Deacon, try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Report back to Dr. Carrington. Um. We. I'll worry about that later. I'll just make sure I've capped this on the map. Yeah, I'll be honest. Every time. <laughs> every time. Actually, I'm going to go up in the lift and sleep so I don't lose my progress if. H222. God, is that an H3 H3 joke? Oh, come on, man. Get the fuck out of the way. Stupid NPC. You gonna move? Don't make me kill you. No, I'm not gonna kill you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, when I'm actually making them, I won't lie. When I'm actually, when I'm actually making the videos, for a lot of the time, uh, I'm making them, I just think, God, is this just me fucking moaning constantly? And I just think, oh, no one's going to want to watch, fucking watch this. It's just a depressing moaning. But at some point in the process, it kind of comes together. Ultramech, I don't think they have any serious intention of fixing it. They've moved on to the next big thing. I think they've certainly pulled a lot of resources. Um, pulled a lot of resources out of the division and pulled people onto other projects. And then they're obviously, they're doing this. Tycon's one of the few They're doing all of this stuff on Avatar. And I better kill that fucking music before I get a copyright strike. Um, so yeah, without a doubt, they pulled tons of fucking resources into other projects. But I actually think they don't quite know what they want to do with the division. That's my humble opinion. I think what's happened, and this this is not based on science. This is based on. Uh, this is actually based on complete conjecture. This is just me and my. This is just me and my crystal ball. I think. Oh, I wow. think probably they're a bit a surprised yeah. about. Commonwealth ain't safe at night. Ooh, thank you. Guns and bullets. Said I shouldn't say anything. The tone. The tone has really changed since the global events, the success of the global events, and I think maybe. They're a bit surprised at how successful that was, and I don't think they've kind of know exactly, uh, exactly how they want to proceed. Do they want to try and keep the game at full? Ah, oh, there you go. But thank you, thank all of you. I think they, they're kind of trying to decide, you know, where do we go from here because putting, you know, putting some money and effort into the game actually paid off a lot more than perhaps they were expecting it to so that's but that is that is not how can i put it that's yeah. not some insider tip and like all the rest streets. of it that, that this is purely fucking conjecture and just judging from the way that the tone changed from the state of the game pre and pre and post 1.8 i think they've just kind of gone shit you know perhaps this, for the railroad this game's got more legs than we thought yeah <coughs> Get up and let me steal your bed. Um, 
Patrick says also they fucking stole your idea about Scruffy the cat. Yeah, it was actually ex. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really, I didn't really think of it that way until someone else contacted me and went, look, they're fucking stealing the Scruffy idea. And then I looked at it and I thought about it that way, and it's, fuck, you know what they actually are, aren't they? They, they, they are literally just thought. Well, work for Twenty One Killers Hard. Why don't we give it a try? And it was, and then when I thought that, I looked at it again and thought, yeah, this is a bit. It's a bit sad, really. But then again, they might have been doing it fucking ironically because I think was it. Yannick had a bit of a smirk, so smirk on Just his face. It, it but yeah, it was. I think that may have been scruffy inspired. Uh, Bert Laser, my favourite was the, the Wankers video. I I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I, I similarly when I made that, I just thought. Yeah, some pe people have been taking yes, themselves very seriously, anyway. and I just thought, oh, I'll do it. fuck it, I'll do a build video Thanks. then, and I won't take myself nice seriously. And I, I didn't think it was people were going to particularly like it, but um, but you know that's that's YouTube. It's it's funny how sometimes you make stuff and you put tons of effort into it, and people find it a bit boring, and then other times you just do something for lols, and people love it. I will be doing another build video, but I won't give out any details now. Patrick says, serious question, do you actually sponsor Scruffy? I don't sponsor him on a regular basis. Um, I do, I have sent money for Scruffy as per what I've stated in the video. I paid two um, lump sums. I know this is going to sound a bit paranoid, but you know, you never know. You never know what you know. Random people on the internet are capable of, but um, I, I, I didn't. I didn't set it up so there was no personal connection to me. So the way I did it was I actually just went and got a postal order from the post office and paid them in a lump sum, so that I didn't have, you know, so someone from Ubisoft couldn't just, you know, phone up the RSPCA or whatever and go, oh, who's who's sponsoring this cat? That was just, and I'm not particularly concerned about Ubisoft. I'm just, you know, for the general data protection point of view, I use them as an example. Fuck me, this fucker's gonna hurt me. One second. I hate these fucks because they fucking poison you. And there's fucking two of them. Yeah, so I uh, <laughs> shouldn't have used Ubisoft as an example because I'm not I'm not like worried that Ubisoft are going to hunt me down. But you know, well, if you don't know, they might do. But you know, generally I like to just sort of keep my, uh, you know, keep myself protected. Shit, we're all online gamers. We all know the score. You don't, yeah, unnecessarily publicise your. Your personal affairs online, where any random psycho can Nothing there now. What do you think? Uh, oh, get the info. So I just yeah, literally did it in but in chunk payments. But yes, I have sent money for his meds. Yeah. And if I've said on a video, if I was what the fuck is this guy? If I've said on a video I've sponsored something or Aww, donated, I I honour that. Um, Ultramech, what they want is to keep the money coming in without investing anything into it. <sighs> yeah, I, 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 I can't. I've not seen the copybook, but I would say, I would say, and this is, you know, not just a comment about Ubisoft, but. A corporation. In fact, if you've ever seen, if you ever seen the film The Corporation or read the book The Corporation, if you haven't, definitely watch it. Just because it makes the, you know the single. I won't spoil anything for you, but basically, they analyse a corporation in law is an individual, believe it or not. Under law, a corporation is treated like a person. It's a way for because originally corporations were set up so groups of people could go into business as if they were one entity. And uh, someone basically said, well, right, well, if a corporation's a person, 
uh, for corporations a person, why don't we like analyse them to see what kind of person they are? And they basically applied like psychology to what a uh, corporation as an entity is. And they came back with the conclusion it's a fucking psychopath. You know, it's not it's not good or evil, you know, or anything like that. Companies, corporations by their nature are just like fucking white sharks. At the end of the day, it's written into their constitution to make us, or their articles of incorporation to make as much money as possible by any means. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's literally the law. Companies are required to make as much money as possible and not give a shit about you or me. That's just the way it is. And if they do give a shit about you or me, it's because there's a business case for it. So, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to think there's less cynical things going on, but, you know, like you say, Aldramelech, you know, got to remember that at the end of the day, if they can sit there and do nothing and take lots of money, that's precisely what they'll probably do. Um, I think they may be now thinking with one after the success of 1.8 that perhaps there is a way to, you know, spend a bit of money and make even more back. But yeah, I don't, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt if there was a magical way for them to make tons of money and not spend a penny, that's what they would do.